Imagine a battlefield where every move counts and every shot echoes all over. G, they're trying to sweep it out. They roll on in, and it's good news no for the vehicle goes way! up in flames. No way! Not him, Red Force. And in this vast world of PUBG Mobile esports, there are many outstanding moments, but only a few moments rise to become true icons. Has to pop it. The nade in through the window doesn't quite get the knock, and Svan is low on the upstairs. But Ray Z in with a DBS. Spot the heal. You cannot get away from him. He is on the hunt. Looks for more as well. Finds the nade in hand, and That's it will cold. not be found. Svan is shutting it down. But Ray Z oh drops my it down. God! He is vengeance. He is the knight, and S2G have Ray Z to thank. Two knocks though still went through. That's be a quick regroup. Hello gamers, it's your host Truce and welcome to the GamersCon. So today we are not just remembering the best place of PUBG Mobile Esports. We are revisiting some of the most iconic moments of history. The moments that defined PUBG Mobile Esports. Let's go back to PMCO Spring 2019, the tournament that started Chinese dominance on the global stage. KK Askar from Top Esports went on to clutch the entire team of RRQ. Uzi, he might be a little minigun, but it gets the job done. A little bit of a, a tap there from Ernie, which uh -oh, will give the audible come. warning. Fire the foot is boy. real. You better be ready for what's coming your way. Look at this team. He sprays in. Oh no, he doesn't get it. What a mistake. And oh no, that's a big loss for RRQ there. If they do manage to get through this cleanly, they're great. But Fireboy could have done so much damage. There's still one player up here though. There's still one man alive for this team upstairs. In the smoke, shrouded. The revive comes in for RRQ Athena. They stay alive. Four players will be standing soon. And we're down to the final three teams. This shouldn't be a 4 vs 1. With the numbers that you have and the advantage, you should be able to go for the refrag and insta him. Last player surviving here. You can hear the stairwell push. They're upstairs. They're at the door. They're at the wall. There is damage. Oh, what? 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 That's two! What is he doing? Oh, three! Is this real? Could this be the 4 vs 1? The push comes in. Yes! Oh, he's oh done my it. god! He's only gone and done it. What a play! That should not have happened! So you might be thinking that it was such a normal clutch. But it wasn't. Because this play, this moment marked the beginning of Chinese rise to the global stage. The Peacekeeper Elite Championship 2020. A tournament that witnessed one of the most epic comebacks in esports history. Nova Esports back then were known as XQF and they sealed their victory to lift the championship with a mind-blowing 30-pointer game in the last match of the tournament. So you might be wondering that why this is a comeback for the ages? Well because before that match, XQF trailed behind 4AM by 25 points. They needed a massive 26-pointer to snatch the win. And guess what? They pulled it off. In fact, they pulled off a massive 30-pointer game to win the tournament. They can clean these eliminations up. Mega, forced now to rotate with the zone at their back. So they need pretty much a 30 point game. They need a big one, that's for sure. We have seen bigger games now. They run into Para Boys, awaiting arms. He's managed to claim one. He needs to get these he confirmed though, He's well. got he stone too. He needs to get these not stolen from him, but he's going to be looking for it. And there's one more confirmed point win, I think. but. 14 kills plus a first place. We've seen it done before. Scout still doing work, by the way. Takes out Pop Pop. Orange gonna go down as Mega helps out. And that will be them gone. These kills are stealing away from XQF's chances as Paraboy finds his third Mega member. Pyra and Beowulf, they finish off Fnatic. That's more kills stolen away from XQF. They need to get every possible kill. Paraboy surely not. He's got all four of Mega. If he just, if they run out of kills to get because there's not enough players alive in the lobby and they miss it, that'll be tragic. Ayala has fallen at the hands of Uneven. This is Cloud9 starting to ascend as well. Jimmy, he doesn't want to enter this room. The crossfire is millimeter perfect. But they're gonna pick! They're gonna come out! FFQ has run into Paraboy. The trade could be there. It is, but Paraboy, he will get traded surely. 
Yes, he will. And this is more and more kills for the side of XQF. They need the rest of them. There's seven kills remaining in the lobby. Comes down to this. A team not even in the top five could potentially in ruin things last. for XQF. I believe they're in dead last right now. Really? Goodness me. Right down the bottom, and they've come out of nowhere to potentially ruin the comeback, ruin the takeover that XQF have been putting on. And oh, now he's actually going to find the first and, and confirm. confirm. It's 3v3. The information is now being spread. Dexy and Marco have taken a fair bit of damage. Dexy's now going to push up. Paraboy, he has the information. He's starting to hear the footsteps. Can he take this 2v1 to his left? Surely not. Surely Paraboy hasn't well. got any more in him. He's going to get hit by the flank. He needs to push. He's taken the duel. There's two knocks. It's oh one man God. remaining for Team Queso. It's going to be all on the back of Marco. Paraboy confirms Ayala. That's going to seal one more kill. And this could be XQF going home with... Not only the victory, the third one of the tournament, but the tournament itself. Paraboy rounds the corner. He's found it! it. Paraboy's done it! And XQF have won the final game. Will it be enough to secure the tournament victory? Now let's fast forward to PMGC 2022. A tournament that marked the end of a three-year-long Chinese supremacy. S2G, a team from Turkey, emerged victorious in that tournament breaking the two-year-long streak held by the Chinese sensations Nova Esports. Not only that, but DRS, an underdog team from Nepal, surprised everyone by securing the runners-up spot. Now it's the latest addition to our list, a moment that shook the very foundation of PUBG Mobile Esports. I'm talking about the dominance showcased by IHC in PMGC 2023. It was a jaw-dropping spectacle, the kind of aggression that left the entire esports world in awe. With just 32 placement points and a whopping 110 kill points, IHC claimed the PMGC trophy by relentlessly bagging kills after kills, after kills. The PUBG Mobile Esports stage had never witnessed such aggression before. Matches the majority of them. Yo, looking to take them off. IHC instantly up the three elims. Uh, not quite a hat trick, but there's still the duo up there. An incredible performance from this team. IHC, your champions. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 PMGC Champions, IHC!